In this lesson, we'll take a look at some work examples. If you missed my video introducing work and how to calculate work, go watch that first. So my scenario says I push a box 10 meters across the carpet to the right with an applied force of magnitude 15 Newton, 15 Newton to the right. There's a frictional force of five Newton acting on the box. Now, the question doesn't ask me to draw a free body diagram, but I love drawing free body diagrams for situations just so that I can visualize what is happening. So we know we've got an applied force going to the right, and we know that the magnitude of that applied force is 15 Newtons. We know we've got a frictional force. Friction always acts in the opposite direction of the motion. Okay, so if the box is moving to the right, friction acts to the left. Because it's on a surface, there's a normal force. And because the object has a mass, there's a gravitational force, force of gravity, Fg or W. Now, my first question is very simple. Calculate the work done by the applied force. So, you should know from your formula sheet that in order to calculate the work done by a force, we use the following formula. You write that formula as is from your formula sheet. F stands for the force in question. So here I'm asking you for the work done by the applied force. So the F that I substitute in here is the applied force, which is 15 Newton. Now, it doesn't matter which direction my force is going in. When I calculate work done by a force, we are always going to substitute the force in as a positive, no matter which direction I choose as positive. Then delta X as you know, is displacement. How far did the box move? And I said I pushed to 10 meters. Remember, it must be in meters, 10 meters. And then cos of the angle. Now, what is the angle? This is where learners get a bit confused. That angle is the angle between the force, the force in question. So in this case, it is the applied force and the displacement. Now, in this question, we are moving to the right. So my displacement is going to the right. The box is moving to the right. As you can see, I've indicated there, the displacement is going to the right. And the applied force, look at my free body diagram, is also going to the right. If your force and your displacement are in the exact same direction, so your applied force is going that way, your box is moving that way. There's no angle between them. It's not like your applied force is going like this, but your box is moving like this and there's an angle between them. There's no angle between them. Your applied force is like this, your box is moving that way. There's no angle between them, so theta is zero. Your angle is zero. And as you should know, cos of zero is equal to one. So basically, this sum is saying 15 multiplied by 10 multiplied by one. So I've got 150 joules. Now, if you get a positive value for work, the work done by the applied force is 150 joules. If it's a positive, it means that energy has been added to the object or energy has been given to the object, okay, which is causing it to move in that direction. Let's do the next question. Calculate the work done by the frictional force. Now, in the same way, we use the exact same formula to calculate work, but in this case, it's work done by the frictional force. So F is going to be five. Now, I know when you do Newtons, you choose a positive direction. So say you say to the right is positive. And because friction is going to the left, in Newton's calculations, when you are calculating net force, you substitute friction in as negative. But when you calculate the work done by a force, the work done by friction, you never sub it in as a negative. You leave it as a positive. So it's going to be five. Don't sub it in as a negative. How far did we move? My displacement is 10. And now the angle. Remember, the angle, this angle over here is the angle between the displacement. So wh where did I move? I moved to the right. And which way is friction acting? Take a look at your free body diagram. Friction is acting to the left like this. What angle is between these two things here? Well, this is a straight line over here. So the angle between the displacement and the frictional force is 180 degrees. So we're going to say cos 180. And for those of you that know your trigonometry, you'll know that cos 180 is negative one. So that result in our answer being negative, negative 50 joules. 
Now, we don't change our answer to a positive. It's not like Newton's. It's not like when we calculate net force or force. Remember, forces are vectors. So if we get a negative force, we change it to a positive. And the negative means in the opposite direction. It's not the same with work and energy. When you get a negative answer for work, that negative means that energy is being removed from the box. Energy is being transformed into other forms like heat or light or something like that. So that's what the negative means over there. So that's your answer for B. Then C is asking, what is the net work done on the box? Net work is like the resultant work, the overall work. So remember, we already said the work done by force applied is 150 joules and work done by friction is negative 50 joules. So think of it like this. We are adding 150 joules of energy to the box and removing 50 joules of energy from the box. So overall, my net work will be 150 minus 50, which is 100 joules. Now, there is a proper way, essentially, that we can work it out. And I do have a video on net work and how to calculate it. But basically what we're doing is we look at all the forces acting on the object. So we've got force applied and friction and gravity and normal force. And net work, we can think of net work as being the sum of the work done by the individual forces. So the work done by F applied plus the work done by friction plus the work done by the normal force plus the work done by gravity. So in my case, the work done by F applied is positive 150 plus the work done by friction, which is negative 50. And then you might be thinking, okay, cool, man, but what about the normal force and weight? What about those two forces? Well, remember, we didn't actually, I didn't actually ask you to work that out in any of my sub questions, but we could. If I asked you to calculate, for example, the work done by gravity, then you would use the same formula like that. Your F would be the force of gravity, Fg which is worked out by taking the mass times the gravitational acceleration. And now you might be thinking, oh, ma'am, you didn't give us the mass of the box. Okay, that is true. Just watch here. So mass, I don't know. G, gravitational acceleration is 9.8. How far did the box move? 10 meters. But here is where the thing comes in that is the most important. What would this angle be? Well, the box is moving to the right. That's the displacement. And which way is gravity acting? Straight down. What is the angle between these two forces? I hope you can see that it is 90 degrees. So if we sub in a 90 over here, you should know that cos 90 is zero. So if cos 90 is zero, the entire thing is going to be zero. So the work done by Fg is zero. And in the same way, the work done by the normal force is zero. Why is the work done by the normal force zero? Because again, the box is moving to the right, but the normal force acts straight up, Fn. The angle between them is 90. So therefore, my network is 150 minus 50, which is 100 joules. And last but not least, how much energy is being added to or removed from the box? Well, remember, according to our calculations, 150 joules of energy is being added because it's a positive and here, 50 joules is being removed. So therefore, overall, the net work, W net, the net work will tell me the net amount of energy added or removed. It's a positive. So overall, there is a hundred joules of energy that is being added. And if you're getting confused and saying, but ma'am, you just worked out the net work. Why are you saying that that's energy? Remember, in my previous videos, I spoke about the fact that work and energy, very similar concepts. So the work done by a force is equal to the amount of energy transferred. Okay, I hope that that helps. Please check out the playlist for more work energy power videos and subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll see you in another one very soon. Bye, everyone.